a movie that actually sounds pretty cool, and that is Infinite Horizon. Uh, WB has recently picked up the rights to make the Infinite Horizon, which was a graphic novel series. I believe there were six graphic novels in the series um, from Image Comics into a full feature length movie. Um, now, they picked up the rights. What was also attached with it was a script written by, who is his name? Ryan Condal, um, who actually wrote the Hercules movie, not the horrible Hercules movie. The, is there a good one? The not so bad Hercules movie with The Rock in it. It what? wasn't. Was yeah, there, I mean, there was two that came out like within a month of each other. <laughs> one was absolutely horrible, and one was just eh, not so bad. Or maybe <laughs> it was like not so bad by you know comparison. That because... could have been it. No, no. It actually, if you compare the two, I mean, one was just one. I might have actually horrible movie of the week did. If that, that's a verb now. Horrible movie of the week did <laughs> that. I have now turned that sentence into a verb. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that one popped up in there. Um, but yeah, so it's actually got a pretty cool story. Uh, I was reading a little bit about this. Now I have not read the graphic novel series, but there was some interesting things. Uh, so the story revolves around um, a character who's an unnamed soldier, only referred to as the captain. Um, and it's voting badly. No, how is that voting badly? Because it's reminded me of In the Name of the King. All right, fine. All right, don't... Do, do, whatever. <laughs> Great name. Terrible. It uses the concept of, uh, of oh, we just named them by occupation, and then terrible, terrible movie. Okay, well, this is different. All right, so he's only referred to as the captain in this, in this show. And the captain has been in a war zone, and this takes place in the future. Uh, for years and years and years, maybe five, ten years. You know, he's been in this war zone for a long time. He's really gritty. He's, he's, um, you know, he's pretty jagged. And all of a sudden, the conflict ends, and he and ten other men are tasked or are stranded in this war zone, and they have to make their way back home. So sounds a little familiar, and that's because it's very, it's pretty much taken off of the Odyssey by Homer, and it's its own like futuristic take on what the Odyssey would be if Homer. I guess, lived in the future. Um, and so, yeah, he has to battle his way back through, you know, a hellish wasteland to get home eventually. Um, now, yeah, and it takes him about 10 years to get back. They're even saying that at one point he fights, like, a Cyclops armored guy. Oh. And, <laughs> and you have, like, like their own version of the Sirens, the Call of the Sirens and everything like that. So this is very interesting to me because Greek mythology is the basis for a lot of stories, but... Not often do we have such a, a pretty much a ripoff take, but in its own vein, if that makes any sense. They're definitely, you know, purposefully following the structure of this, but they're changing it up, making it a little bit fresher, which Odyssey is one of the, the greatest stories of all time for a reason. Um, it didn't just last over the past 2,000 years because it was a bad story. It's very interesting. There's a lot of messages that you can take out of it, and I'm pretty curious to see what a cyborg Cyclops would look like. It's also a great progressive metal song by Symphony X. Yeah, there's something for you. The Odyssey. Yeah, the Odyssey, huh? Yeah, but it, there's no <laughs> actors yet um, attached to this film. <laughs> uh, but, well, I just had to be like, okay, we've got to get past that. Uh, <laughs> Threw you off there, did I? Yeah. Um, 43 minute long song, guys. Put it but if I could see any actors attached to this movie... Hmm... <laughs> Yeah, I, I would want you know more of an action star. Maybe a Gerard Butler could could play a pretty gritty, you know, war war sco uh, scarred soldier who's trying to get back home. Uh, you know, I, maybe Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's just good in most of the things he no, does. No, you know who'd be actually great for this, partially because he's now a little bit older and uh, uh, Odysseus was a little bit older anyway, and who should be freed up pretty soon. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman would be cool. I could also see Idris Elba. Uh, you might know him as the, the the gatekeeper guy in Thor, but he's he's an excellent actor. I could see him doing really well. Heck, even Denzel Washington would probably be pretty cool with this part because he's just he's got so much range. So yeah. there's lots of really cool actors that could certainly fill this void. What was the last um, good movie that Denzel did? He's done uh, plenty of good ones, but he's also Book done of Eli good was good. One. Yeah, well, that was a while ago, wasn't it? It was like three years ago. Maybe no, longer. It was, it was more than that. It was way more than that. 
I don't know how many years ago it was. I mean, he's done a ton of good movies. I'm trying to think of the last movie he was in. I can't even think of the last movie he was in. Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm thinking. Like, I think he's done some like just random throwaway movies lately, but I, I can't really think of a big oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he did a movie. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but like he's he's like an ex like special forces guy, and he talks to this young like hooker girl, and she gets beat up and kidnapped, and he goes on a rampage to kill the guys who did it to her. Just trying to remember what that one was called. It was like the something. It, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. It was a good action mm-hmm. movie. Um, yeah, but that's that's the last that that was his last film, I believe. So, and I didn't even give a name to it, but you know, I I still think he would play this role of you know. Odysseus pretty good. Okay, now they're calling him the captain. That might be part of the reason they're calling him the captain because they don't want to call him Odysseus. So, yeah. 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 So, uh but let us know what you think. Would you be excited to watch a futuristic take on the Odyssey or is this idea just stupid? Hit us up, let us know. Comments down below, of course, at Words my face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways to get in hold of us. And wordsmyface.com. Can't forget about that place cool place. Lots of cool things happen in there.